So, thanks. Uh, so, Craig talked about businesses putting out disinformation. Uh, the other challenge for businesses suffering from disinformation. Uh, and we see, see it all over the place in big ways in financial markets and in small ways and businesses. Simple things like if a business decides it's going to take them longer to put out their financial results, they put an announcement out and the rumour mill and the information and the disinformation that is put out regularly about why that might be can lead to all sorts of things, 25% drop in share price in, in a day. And then when the results do come out, the, the results are as expected and there isn't anything suspicious in there. Um, so that, that's one issue around disinformation straight to the financial markets. Uh, but it's really interesting because ultimately this is all about, and we've heard this again and again today, this is all about trust in business. Um, and business needs to understand much more why people trust them. And that is changing. So it's not just the pounds and the financial information, but their customers, their employees and their investors want to understand much more um, what their impact, their social impact is, their impact on the world, their impact on, on the planet. And these things are becoming more and more critical. And so business needs to take, understand all of that and understand that being trusted over all of that is really important. And the more information that they need as a business to put out there, the more they need to think about what their story is around that and how they ensure that that information is sound and correct. And, you know, you just think about ESG reporting, how you go down the line and make sure what you're saying actually stacks up for the multiple players in your supply chain is really difficult. So businesses have real challenges now to maintain a level of trust and they are being attacked in all different ways. And, and my experience is that most businesses are way behind the curve as to actually having assessed these risks and then putting in some kind of risk mitigation plan for them.